Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Visit File Coast. You're going to get the you're going to get the full effect of this video today. This is a a summary of different kinds of sea defences and why different things are done in different places and how they work. And this is by special request. Shout out on the way for Miss Shanahan from Hawkley Hall High School in Wigan. And she contacted me a few weeks ago to say that her students are having to do all their field trips virtually this year because of COVID. And they've been watching our individual separate videos, but could I do one that kind of tied them all together? So here I am in perfect windy weather to show you exactly, exactly why, oh, I'm littering, look, I'm blowing my post-it note away. Exactly why, um, exactly why they do what they do. Anyway, I was going to start by saying that it's an exposed area with a lot of head on westerly winds. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a better time if I'd have tried, could I? It's a flat, straight coastline. I mean, you can see right down there to North Pier, just in the distance. If I just zoom in, you can just see North Pier right down there. And then if we turn through 180 degrees, Right down there, at the other end of the, the shoreline, is the Russell scheme at Fleetwood. So that is some distance. And did you know, did you know while we're here, that apparently the horizon, as you look at it, <coughs> is about three miles. That's the furthest that you can normally see. And it's 5.3 miles. You can see Blackpool Tower. 5.3 miles to Blackpool Tower from here because we've measured it on Google Maps we know that for a fact and it's just all straight there's no curves there's no land there's no nothing to break up the wind it just blows and blows and then it blows a bit more so all of these different types of sea defences that we've got here on the Fowl Coast are brilliant for keeping all the people that live here all the people that live in all these houses dry because otherwise believe me it will be miserable and actually while i'm pointing that way you can see just how much the land runs down if we were on the on the top promenade you see it even more but the land on the other side of the seawall does that so we're on a bit of a crest so when the water does come over it floods quite a big area and this is actually the boundary, why I'm standing here is because this is the boundary between Blackpool Borough and Cleveleys Borough, which is where, I'm at, where I am at the moment. Cleveleys is in wire um, and our seawall in wire is built in this stepped design. So all the way along our new sea defences as we call them, they've been, they've been finished about 11 years but we still call them new, is all steps. But at Blackpool, at Anchor Zone Promenade, they chose a different design, which as you can see is, is flat revetment down to the beach and their wave breaker units on top. <coughs> I'm going to turn round now and we'll walk this way and then it's not quite as noisy. Because <coughs> it's just so noisy. <laughs> and you'll see loads of different sea defences, not just on the foul coast, but all the way around the country and they all do pretty much the same kind of thing but they do them with varying degrees of effectiveness and we're actually just going to walk up to the the by far and away best kind of seawall that you could possibly have which is a natural beach and there's a little shingly cove that's just created itself just a little bit further up here so we'll see that as well so at Cleveland's and anchor zone you get wave breaker units and spanish steps and some areas of, of straight up concrete. Straight up concrete is not good because it, a straight concrete wall just reflects the waves as they come in and they just bounce straight back at you um, and go straight up in the air. So that creates a lot of splash and it gives a, a much more potential for overtopping and the, the sea coming over. Recurve walls actually reflect, let's walk around this seagull, actually reflect the the waves <coughs> and a recurve wall there is actually some up at, at, at um, 
Russell Beach at Cleveley's, but we'll show you them a little bit further on in the video. So a recurve wall goes like that and it actually reflects and bounces the wave back out to sea. So they're quite effective as well. And then you'll notice as well that along this section there are some old wooden groins. And if you've been day tripping to Blackpool, you'll probably realise, you might have not noticed, but when I tell you, you'll, you'll remember, that you don't actually see these wooden ground boards on Blackpool Beach. If you look up there, you, I mean, you, the, the tide's in, so it's a bad example, but there are no wooden ground, boy, ground boards on Blackpool Beach. They are designed to reduce turbulence in the water. Can you see how it's reducing the, the waves as they're wobbling about? And it enables <coughs> the sediment to settle out more of the seawater and to reduce the amount of erosion that's created by waves as they, as they lap at shore. And groins come in different flavours as well because these are old ones. You can tell by, well actually they're not that old these, but you can tell by the holes in it where the, the water's going through that they're very difficult to maintain. There are a lot of really old groins. I mean, I'm old and they're a lot older than I am. Uh, on this beach at Cleveland and, and Fleetwood. We've also got stone groins as well. Again, they're on Russell Beach, so we'll, we'll come up to them in the, the second part of the video. And they're a lot easier to maintain and they also dissipate the energy of the sea better. And then you can see here how the waves are lapping against this little beach. If I turn round, the, the steps are brilliant. The steps reduce the energy of waves and they sort of climb it and, and lose the energy that they're carrying. But the beach is absolutely amazing. And you can see the difference right here in those two spots. It just disappears on this section of shingle but it splashes on the steps. And that's because the beach is porous. So you get quite a lot of, um, you get quite a lot of voids in between the pebbles and the voids are just as important as the actual pebbles are. And it just drains the energy out of the sea and leaves, well, just a gentle lapping edge and of course I'm saying that these are new sea defences but back in the day in the late 1800s people built earthen ramps as they were called to keep the sea out and Cleveland is quite a big area it's quite a big it's quite a big town to cover and it goes back quite a long way so I'm going to just climb up this little little wall here and I'm going to show you down the high street and you'll see you'll see how the the land runs down quite a quite a long way so all these different sections these flat areas and these little intermediate walls they're all a deliberate part of the sea defense and this this last wall this rear wall is your last line of defence so you can see that the land slopes down quite a long way and the tramway is right down there and the, there is still some evidence of these ramps in Cleveland and that's that's in another video if you want to watch that one separately but it would have been a natural floodplain back in the day so there is also evidence that a major river estuary came this way and the belief is that part of the River Wire, that's the main shopping street, Victoria Road West, and the belief is from the evidence of tests carried out in the beach that a major river tributary discharged right where I'm standing now a very, very long time ago. I don't know exactly how long ago, but I know it wasn't recently. 
So we've come from the boundary with Blackpool where we started off on this video to the northern end of the step sea defences at Cleveland. The metal thing in the water is Mary's shell. That's um, that's the, the, the public art that's been there a long time. And if you've been watching the updates that we've been doing, this is where they were filming Star Wars last week. So I'm sure I'm sure um, you can watch that at home in your own time. So this is Russell Beach. This is the beach where I was saying about the older natural sea defences. And th there's quite a lot of movement on this section of beach. This is the old concrete recurve seawall. And this is the natural beach that forms a substantial part of the defences. But you can see that just in the last few days that quite a lot of the sand and sediment has been eroded. And this seawall was built in, well, I'm not sure, around about the 1930s, I think. And it's in, it's in quite a post-tative repair, but the, the actual beach is the thing that gives it its protection and there's a, a new beach management scheme just about to start here and they're going to excavate the beach material from against the seawall because this just curves underneath there's nothing to stop it from being undermined or sliding or anything like that it's just cast concrete so they're going to put pebbles along the line of the pebbles stones big rocks ton rocks along the, 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 the length of the seawall along here and then build stone groins at 90 degrees to the seawall to stabilise the beach and hold it in position and these cobbles are an important part of the sea defences, they're awful to walk on <laughs> they make your legs ache as well <laughs> um, but they are a, a really good sea defence and help to keep help to keep the sea under control and keep the tide down. Natural sea defences are still used today. So if you go past the the brand new Russell scheme, which is the next section of concrete seawall that you can see sticking out there, if you go beyond that and go around to the river wire, it's natural sea defence territory and it's sort of soil embankments and um, dikes and that kind of stuff and, and swales where there are channels created for collection of, of rainwater that overtops. So that's kind of the sea defences on the foul coast in a little bit of a cleavelish shaped nutshell. You'll see different styles and different designs in different places, but that's, that's kind of the gist of it. And you can see how the beach has been moved about a lot here by the sea. It was eroding it near to the steps as we've just come down onto this section. And there's a big, a big channel being cut out here. So believe me, it gets really, really wild and it's not the kind of weather that you want to be out in. But at least we've got sea defences to keep us dry. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're a school student, don't forget that we've got plenty of other videos about coastal defences and the marine environment, which you might find useful. And if you're just interested in beaches, then you're very welcome to follow us at Visit File Coast. Make sure that you've subscribed and you've hit that little bell for notifications and you've given this video a like. And we'll be back with all kinds of interesting content from the, the country's favourite seaside towns. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.